can you imagine being a mother or a father to a child? And although you have your issues with substance abuse, your child is taken from you and supposed to be placed in the custody of a of the next parent but then she goes missing and no one looks for her if so this is the case of harmony montgomery if you want to know more about this case please continue watching How can a child go missing and not be seen since 2019, which makes this three years? Because she was last seen in October of 2019, and some people even say November 2019, but they are certain that it was 2019 last time she was seen. And a lot of people believe that her father, as well as her stepmother, Kayla, had something to do with her murder. Now, I don't know if the stepmother had anything to do with her murder and unfortunately we'll never know because she unfortunately has passed away and no one can really say if it is at the at her own hands or a drug overdose or if someone else had something to do with her death but it is known that she has passed away so whatever secret she might have known about this little girl's whereabouts or even if she was still alive at this point, she's taken that to her grave. And the only person who is still alive who can give us a definitive answer as to if this little girl is still alive or if she's even, you know, um, dead or whatever the case may be as to her state uh, of being or lack thereof at this point is her father and many people have said that he was has been seen or was seen um spanking her really hard and making her stand in a corner for hours on end and her great uncle i can't remember his name right now but he was um one of the people to witness the mistreatment of little harmony montgomery now as you just heard me say um, some people think that it was November um, and some people think that it was October when she was last seen, but um, officials, they previously said that Harmony likely disappeared between November 28th and December 10th of 2019, but police learned of her disappearance in December of 2021. Now, that is really strange because when I was researching this case, I noticed a picture of Harmony wearing glasses. And if you know anything about kids and their vision and the fact that they wear glasses, they need to be fitted regularly for glasses because, you know, they grow so fast and, you know, um, you know, they may have problems with their glasses. They may lose them or break them or, you know, things like that. And, you know, like I said, kids, they needed to be fitted for glasses, you know, quite often. And um, I believe if my memory serves me correctly, she was blind in one eye. So that makes the fact that she would have to be seen by an, I think it's an ophthalmologist um, regularly, the person that checks your eyes um, is really strange because, you know, the the doctor's appointments that she would have had. Um, and I'm pretty sure that people 
you know, call to see if she's going to be at these appointments. Nobody noticed that she wasn't at these appointments. No, nobody noticed that she wasn't um in school. I mean, she would have even needed shots at her age every so often. So no doctors noticed anything weird. No school officials, daycare officials, nobody noticed anything weird because this girl went missing between November 28th and December 10th of 2019. And she's still missing to this day. And nobody called a school, a daycare or anything. I mean, it's really weird that people can just vanish and like, especially children and nobody noticed that they're missing. That is really strange to me. The fact that a lot of other family members witnessed Harmony's abuse is really shocking. But then as I thought about it, it's really not. Because the uncle who I mentioned before and I couldn't remember his name, his name is Kevin. And he said something that really made me think. A lot of people that loved Harmony didn't have rights to make certain decisions. So when they saw her being abused, even though Kevin was one of the people to call and talk to, I think it was DCFS and the police, he told them that Harmony's father told him that he had given Harmony a black eye and made her scrub the toilet with her own toothbrush. Now, when you think about it, that's not only considered child abuse. That's just plain downright disgusting. Because, I mean, think about it. It is a toilet. You know, people do all kinds of things in the toilet, you know, that, you know, many people release bodily fluids, you know, in a toilet. So the fact that this child was cleaning the toilet with her own toothbrush and then had to brush her teeth with it, you know, that is just disgusting to think about all by itself. But, you know, as the court documents show, the uncle said that, you know, even though they wanted to help Harmony and tried to many times over, they didn't have, you know, the rights to make certain decisions. So they couldn't really do anything but only talk to um, DCFS and the police, which they did. And like the uncle said, DCFS and the police failed harmony because this child went missing in 2019 and here we are in 2022 and she still hasn't been found dead or alive and the the stepmother was receiving benefits for harmony even though harmony wasn't in her care and she was making it seem like harmony was in her care so she could get the benefits for her and she wasn't actually in her care. And the only way they were able to track Harmony's father down was when he was found living in a car. But when he was told of his daughter's, you know, of his daughter being missing, he showed no emotion. But he also lied and said that he had given Harmony to her mother in 2019, the week of Thanksgiving. And this is where the situation got really sticky for him because the mother came out and said she hadn't talked to Harmony since 2019 and that was on a FaceTime call and it was really short because the father had ended the FaceTime call and the mother said she was really concerned because it seemed like Harmony wouldn't answer certain questions or when she would ask her certain questions, she would only answer them in a way that really didn't give her much detail. But then you have to think the child was only four years old. But, you know, many four-year-olds, they're going to, you know, know how to talk to answer certain questions. And it seemed like the mother said that it seemed like Harmony was being um, forced to answer certain questions in certain ways. 
And I believe the mother because she said that after Harmony answered a question in a certain way, her dad ended the FaceTime call and this is what made her even more concerned and she hadn't talked to or heard or seen her daughter since that happened. Now the father had custody of Harmony because her mother, um, Crystal Sor Sorrell or Sorrett, she had... Um, substance abuse issues i believe her drug of choice was either crack or heroin i can't really remember because that also escapes me at the moment but she lost custody of harmony because you know of her addiction and she also had another son um who was also adopted by another family and that family also wanted to take harmony but they were told no that harmony would be given to her father and she and he would have custody of her and i think this is a big mistake because as we see now the little girl hasn't been heard from or seen since 2019 and her case is being treated as a homicide now Unfortunately, I don't think police are going to find much evidence in the house where Harmony lived with her family because she's been missing since 2019 and her family hasn't stayed in that house, I believe, since 2020 when they were evicted or they moved out. I think they were evicted, though, because they couldn't pay the rent and a family has since then moved in. Um, So I think police aren't going to find much forensic evidence and they'll be lucky if they find any at all but the thing is even though they may find blood in the home it has to be in a certain pattern unfortunately because i mean harmony did live there and they could just say that her blood being there meant that she cut herself or scraped her knee or something so the police have to look for the blood in a certain pattern like um it would be considered i think it's called cat off when someone swings and they hit a person and they come you know the person starts to bleed and they continue to hit them and then they swing and the blood goes somewhere like on the ceiling or the wall and it makes a certain pattern um they're gonna have to look for that but unfortunately i don't think they're gonna find much of that because like i said a new family has moved into that house and it's been cleaned over and over again so it's probably not going to happen like they want it to and as i said earlier in the um video i believe it is the stepmother or the girlfriend of harmony's father that has died and no one can really say if it was due to her own hands or just an accidental drug overdose or some if she died at the hands of someone else no one can really say right now but it is certain that she is dead and i believe that she could have helped solve this case if they would have put a little more pressure on her and also collected forensic evidence as soon as they learned that she was you know missing um which took a long time and i believe that you know the crime scene should have been roped off with tape like they would have done any other crime scene so i think the police have screwed up royally on this and they're going to have to answer for that at some point because this this little girl has been missing since 2019 for god's sake and no one seemed to notice that she was missing i just don't see how that's possible i mean she have had to have needed glasses replaced or gotten some type of shots or something because she was going to be five soon. So that means she would have been starting um, preschool or kindergarten. So she would have needed shots to do that. And I just don't see how this child went missing for this long and no one at all seemed to notice, especially since she was um, in custody of the state for so many years. CPS should have been making regular visits to her house to check up on her and her little brother or just her at the time because I think her little brother was adopted by this point unfortunately but she should have been checked up on CP by CPS frequently or more frequently than they did because now people have to answer for this. If you guys like this video please don't forget to leave me a like 
comment in the comment section down below what you think of this case and please subscribe to the channel and until next time i'll see you on the next appearance that has gripped the nation and has a bay area connection law enforcement searching right now for seven-year-old harmony montgomery harmony hasn't been seen since 2019 but dcf only notified police about her disappearance last week good evening i'm jennifer lee I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Harmony's father is now in police custody. Adam Montgomery is accused of assaulting his daughter. Investigators in New Hampshire say he struck her in the face and gave her a black eye. Police took him into custody after speaking with family members who witnessed abuse, including Harmony's great uncle. The great uncle lives right here in the Bay Area, and our Justin Shecker spoke with him tonight. He joins us from Newport Ritchie with the story. Precious so much love to give. Kevin Montgomery says the moments he spent with his missing seven-year-old niece, Harmony, are special. Little ice cream dates, little coffee dates for me, and Dunkin' Donuts and munchkins for her. But he also witnessed abuse, according to court documents, from the arrest of her 31-year-old father, Adam Montgomery. Were you concerned about your niece's well-being? I was. I, I was. So that's why that's all I'm going to say. I'm not, no details. DSS failed my niece. The affidavit says Kevin contacted the New Hampshire Division for Children, Youth and Families in July 2019 after he observed Harmony with a black eye. He also told investigators he saw Harmony being forced to stand in the corner for hours and her father ordered her to scrub the toilet with her toothbrush. We loved her. A lot of us that loved her didn't have rights. We didn't have rights to make the parental decisions. Court documents say Harmony's mother notified police in November that her daughter was missing. Manchester police were unable to find her father, who had legal custody, until they recently located him living in a car. Police say he made inconsistent statements, claimed he gave Harmony to her mother around Thanksgiving 2019, and he did not exhibit much emotion about his missing child. Right now, it's a tragedy. As Kevin and Harmony's family members wait for answers, the FBI field office in Boston is assisting the search to find the missing girl. I get it. Two years behind the eight ball. It's a long time to be in a race when you're two years behind the person that started the race. And, and I understand that. And Harmony's great uncle tells Eight on Your Side she has other concerned relatives living here in Florida. Tonight, her father is being held in jail without bail. The info, uh, reward for information leading to that can help locate this little girl is up to $43,000. And Jen, police in New Hampshire have set up a tip line for Harmony Montgomery. The number is on your screen right now. That is 603-203-6060. Uh, Hopefully, we get some good tips in on this one. Justin Shecker, live in Newport, Richie Forest tonight. Thank you, Justin.